Welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max, Burning Dog fans. Last time, we met a very strange man named Griffa, blew up an oil rig, and, uh, we're given this flare gun by, uh, our only friend, Chum Bucket. Flare gun. Max can use the flare gun to signal to Chum Bucket to pick him up, or to signal a mission giver that he has performed a task agreed upon. Maybe people are manufacturing flares, because I don't know how useful that would be if it only had one in it. Wait. Is that the shiv? Okay, yeah. I was just gonna say. If I've had a knife on my back this whole time... What I need is one of those knives used by the bad guys. Those don't seem to break. Did you know I did pick this up off a bad guy, didn't I? Assholes, what's their secret? Ship skeleton here, ribs poking out of the Where's ground. Oh, he hasn't. He's pulled off into a shadow somewhere so that he can pleasure himself. Separated from Chum, use the flare gun to signal him. He'll arrive with a magnum opus shortly after. Oh god. Any trouble? Marsa, bad guy. Huh? Sneaking, spying, wanting to steal her away from us. I had to take her somewhere safe. No time to waste then. We've a car to build. Yes, 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 we do. To the Maximobile. Oh, we've done righteous work, Saint. We have what we need to install the nitrous boost. I remember hearing. Access the garage menu anywhere via the pause menu. Oh. This feel... Oh, I guess he's right there, isn't he? Fine! Okay. It's time to give the mag magnum opus boost. Select the boost category to install the dual nitro boost. I remember hearing that... They went to insane lengths of the sound design in this game. That every time you make an adjustment to the car's engine, it changes the way the engine sounds. Uh... I don't remember what it was. There was an. Uh, I remember reading a thing that saying one of the upgrades specifically uh, is a car part that adds a. Uh, well, when you use it in real life, it makes a very high pitched whine. But uh, when they replicated that accurately in uh, the game, the QA testers all reported it as as, a, as an annoying audio bug. So, uh, I think they adjusted that. Boost, which can significantly increase impact damage when used while ramming enemy vehicles and structures. With threat reduced, Chum can now install the dual nitro boost with the scrap collected. Well, we have the boost. It is basic but functional, and twice can you use it. It is a good beginning. Install basic boost system with two rechargeable charges. Victory is mine. <laughs> Aren't you done yet? Oh, oh yes, yes. <laughs> Nitro installed. Now let's baptize her and roll the holy sled. I know just the place. I mean, isn't anywhere the? Ooh. Oh, come on! It's cargo containers. There's nothing here. That something? Keep an eye on the car. Now that's a rock. Stroke or someone cooking ham in this building. Oh, God. Oh, shit. This was the, uh, the scarecrow. I was like, oh, Jesus, what happened here? 
Yeah, sorry guys, you can go back to dinner, I guess. This Max is clearly uninterested. This is your test? Yeah, Max is clearly uninterested in giving anyone a proper burial. Let's do this. the car, but I don't even mind, because that was great. Chum. Oh, right, I have to get out first. I don't know, I have a smoke break. You think they still have jazz cigarettes in the future? I guess that's, I guess, <laughs> you know, actually thinking about it, that's just a plant, so if you could find some arable land, you could actually do that probably be easier if you weren't, you know, in the deserts of Australia. Admittedly. Or you'd probably want to use any arable land to, uh, get food. Oh, no! Have we here? At least it does glow. I thought it might be one of those things where, uh... I've played games where the, uh... Oh. Hey, guys. Where the flashlight, like, highlights items in the environment. Need several dicks! Ooh, right in the throat. Like I did not see that coming. Melee weapons deliver extra damage, but will break over time. Wasn't there a thing right there? No, I guess not. Piss drink. Uh, oh fuck. Nothing good has ever happened down here. I'll have to come back when I get a Jimmy bar, I guess. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what we call a crowbar in North America. But what the fuck do I know? Maybe it's a chocolate bar belonging to... Can I not? That's kind of disappointing. Hmm. And it just drops it if I get in? Lame. How do I let go? Okay, thank you! <clears throat> yeah, what do you think the odds are that we'll find a horn that plays La Cucaracha in the wasteland? I'm asking for a friend. Named Max. <laughs> Do the thing again. Maybe I didn't do it in the right place. I didn't actually hit it right as I hit the thing. That's embarrassing. Water. 
We are the front line. We see all. We take the best and leave the scraps for the boys behind. These are fast-rolling rods who usually take the front line when Scrotus's armed armada rolls out. They gladly hunt small prey or report any bigger disturbances to the sturdier vehicles in the back. Spotters are also found roaming the wasteland in small groups looking for scavenging opportunities. Hmm. Spotters without armor are relatively easy to defeat. However, when battling a spotter with armor, it's best to go for weak spots like doors, tires, and drivers if your harpoon is upgraded to a high enough level. Hmm. Okay. They really didn't enjoy that. Oh, my car. I don't even know if that guy died or not. Eh, that didn't kill anything. Oh, we're on fire. Use it twice. Oh, I guess he's dead. Righteous work. The work in the Magnum Opus is coming along, but it lacks a heart. I need a V8 engine. They kept em emphasizing that in the first Mad Max movie. V8, V8. They called it the last of the V8s. The uh, the interceptor, I mean. That's the last of Back to my Before we do that, the max upgrade menu has now been unlocked and is available in the pause menu. Here you can upgrade Max's equipment, appearance, gain new tools, and fighting skills used in ground combat. New upgrades will become available as Max's legend rank increases. Take care of your baby. Our baby. Oh, that's a nice touch! Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to look at the me menu. Welcome to the max upgrade menu. Upgrades and skills are upgraded, or unlocked, rather, by increasing Max's legend rank. Legend rank. And can then be purchased with scrap. I knew that would be important. Knuckle dusters. Adding and improving a pair of knuckle dusters will significantly increase the amount of fist damage inflicted during a fight. I know it says over there fist damage, and it means how much you do when you punch, but I really like the thought I had there that, oh, it's an elemental type. <laughs> Some Pokemon are especially weak against fist type attacks. Jacket. <laughs> Incre improving the quality of the jacket will increase Max's ability to withstand damage. Wrist armor. Adding and improving wrist armor will increase damage inflicted during counters and disarms while decreasing the damage taken during a failed parry. Ammo belt. Increasing, improving the ammo belt increases the amount of ammo that Max can carry for all weapons, including shivs. Hell yeah. Head. Change the look of Max. Shotgun. Adding barrels to the shotgun will increase the number of shots available before reloading. Uh, skills. Acquire new skills to expand Max's arsenal of ground of combat moves. Tools. Each tool adds a benefit to Max and his ability to survive in the wasteland. Let's start with the completely uh, unhelpful one. Oh, pfft. Yeah, I can't do this because I'm a nobody. I don't know about you guys, but I've always found that even if it looks good, I... Uh, if, if there's customization available, I have to take advantage of it. Like, I've played games with the default outfit. is actually kind of alright, or, you know, even rad. But I have to change things because I don't want to look like the default thing. Oh, good. Oh, right. Uh, okay. Bring melee weapon attacks even on an armed... Interesting. I do have a shitload of scrap right now, comparatively speaking. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, 
Yes, I do. Oh, can I only have one at a time? Oh, now it gets interesting. I'm going to leave that one on for now. In that case, uh, jacket, new. Scav, skivvy. Better than nothing. Take 10% less damage from fist and weapon uh, attacks. Hmm. Honestly, he's got kind of a solid snake thing. I'm oh, sorry, uh, I guess that was naked snake thing going on here. Damn, he's ripped. Uh. Fine, with the stupid shirt on. Nope. Yeah, I'm nobody, man. I can't afford shit. Simple pouch and sheath, better than nothing. Gain the ability to carry a shiv and ammo of all types. The fuck is a... Hmm. The Jimmy Bar! It's weird that there's nothing else in this menu. Fine, let's do that. Let's get the Jimmy Bar for 44 scrap. Jimmy Bar successfully installed. Jimmy Bar. Maxwell encounter locked boxes and compartments in the wasteland. Many of them hold valuable loot not yet scavenged. He can use the Jimmy Bar to open them. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. I guess it's just down there. Let's just pretend that he's been working this entire time and fixing some substantial damage. How's it going? Oh, I see. I don't want to use any uh, ammo against that, so let's just do this. Mmm! Delicious! Oh no, it's uh this way, apparently. Dead cars tell no tales. You know, as the saying doesn't go. What? surprises. I was actually going to say something like that to Chum. Everyone's friend, Chum Bucket. I'm guessing in here? No. Right. Since I hit the button, it won't tell me which one it is. So uh, none of them are new. Yeah, there it is. Thump skink. One day will come for all of you Dune Walkers. Thump skinks are ordinary skinks that have gotten a hold of or been provided a melee weapon of some sort. While slightly more dangerous, they're still low ranked in the Buzzard clans. Some skinks hit harder than normal skinks, but are just as easy to kill when disarmed. Pliers? When the fuck did I get pliers? Is that a bug? Did I gl glitch the game out there? He used to defuse landmines and acquire the shotgun shells inside. Did I find that? Everything Max picks up he can use as a weapon, but all of his melee weapons eventually break, so I'll have to find new ones. 
I like they just have melee weapons. I got the Jimmy bar here. I love that it actually uses the word mash. This means a whole lot to someone. I can see that. Uh, that's right, it doesn't actually zoom when you do that. Struck. You know what? I can just do this. Jensen, neighbor has gone nuts. After the water started receding, they joined some sect. Someone killed. I took the dogs and headed to Marla's. Phones are down. Can't reach you. Come quick. Amika. I wonder why that would be important to someone. I'm going to take this and bring it up to the surface. You know, just in case. Honestly, he walks pretty well for someone who got shot in the fucking knee and never really, uh, had any medical treatment for it. Well, I assume that. The world hadn't quite ended then. Maybe he went to a hospital. Maybe he only walks a little slight limp. He's not wearing the, uh, the knee brace. I mean, there was that bit in the other episode. In the, uh, the, uh, the opening cutscene where he gets up and runs without it. I think I talked about that last time. Oh, oh shit. Where are we going back home? Right, okay. Chum side out. Actually, I'll uh, pick up there since the timer just went. I'm Burning Dog Face, and Chum Bucket and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Mad Max when we head back to the, uh, to the base, for lack of a better word, and, uh, I guess we start a mission called Into Madness. Later.